All right, good morning, guys. This is Ty. It is a wonderful Sunday morning. I'm um, about to get ready for church. I just washed my hair. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick video just to kind of share with you some of the um, the nonsense that I I get. <laughs> and, and it's really rather funny. Um, there's a, there's a company, <clears throat> excuse me, that I contract with that has a forum and I was just kind of, um, looking at their forums because I don't work with them anymore. I figured I could just, um, you know, check out the forums from time to time and, um, uh, now there's a woman in there who has lupus and fibromyalgia fibromyalgia and um she says she was looking for something that doesn't require her to work a certain amount of time a set number of hours or have a schedule because of the pains and discomfort now uh, mind you this is a legitimate company that you know I have a contract with again even though I don't provide services with them I've had a contract with this particular company for uh, about six years so about six years I've had a contract with this company so the company has all of my information um, I'm a real person because it's a real company okay and only people who are inside of the company have access to these forms right okay so with all that being said um, because of her condition and uh, her not being able to work many hours and can't sit for long I figured explosion would be perfect for her in fact I didn't just figure that it's perfect for anyone but especially someone that doesn't want to sit around and commit a whole lot of time to the business. Um, so I told her about it. And, um, you know, a lot of people aren't open to this industry. Um, and I don't understand why when this industry produces more millionaires than any other industry in the world. Um, I hate to say it. She, I really don't hate to say it. But she's not going to get rich from a job. She's not going to get rich from contracting here and there. I mean, the type of stuff that she's doing, she's not going to get rich. She can't even sit down. Like, seriously, who's going to hire somebody who can't work for so many hours? You know, you can't work. You have a pre-existing condition, and I'm very sympathetic to that. But she can't work. And this, uh, let me just tell you her reply, okay? Because it was crazy. She said, to those who are on my thread with BS links that request my info and money, just move on. I am not buying. Okay. Um, I think that was just stupid. Um, when she's the one with the, a condition that keeps her from working. And she's desperately trying to find something to bring income into her household. Let me tell you, don't be like this particular person. Like, there's a great opportunity right here in front of you that doesn't require much of your time. And it pays you better than most jobs. Let's just say you put two hours a day into this business. Let's say two hours a day every day. And you made one sale a day. Just one sale. That's not a lot of time however we're looking at you put in let's say you do you commit two hours a day for seven days a week that's not a lot of time you can do that while you're chilling on the weekends before you head out whatever just commit to doing two hours a day that's 14 hours a week okay um and just say you made one sale every single day okay so that will be seven sales for the week. That's $203 that you would have made that week from working 14 hours. That I mean, this is not the big money, but I want you to understand the magnitude of it. That's like making $14.50 an hour. Which for supplemental income, 
working two hours a day and you and, and I'm telling you if you work consistent like that you're you're gonna make more if you're consistent about your business that's just gonna grow and it's gonna multiply because remember if you check my other compensation video you're gonna get pass ups and everything so we're talking about two hundred and three dollars I believe I said versus her getting nothing because she can't work now one thing I do know about this particular company is it requires a fifty dollar uh, background check fee fifty dollars to do a background check um, but there's no guarantee of work okay so I want you to like really understand that she paid fifty dollars to this company She's an independent contractor, so they don't guarantee you any amount of income, any kind of work. It's legit, and yes, you make money there, but there's no guarantee. Now, she'll pay that for a background check, hoping she makes money, but she won't pay $55 for an opportunity to be in control of how much she makes, to work less time and make more money. Like, guys, I, I just don't get it. I think it's stupid. If I'm just going to be honest, I think it's real stupid that people put so much trust in jobs and all this other stuff, but you will not invest $55. You blow $55 a week on something. Invest that in you. Take a chance at being successful. You so People get so caught up in it's a scam and what if it doesn't work? I'm going to tell you this, I've heard of people not making money in this industry, but every single time, 100% of the time when I talk to these people and find out why they didn't make money, it's, it's going to be one of two things, two things, they didn't work the business or they market it completely wrong. Like if somebody just walked up to me and said, hey, you need to buy this, I'm not going to buy it. So you have to learn how to market your pro your product or service properly. The money is there. A lot of money is there because there are a lot of people looking to make money and save money. So this is the best opportunity. Don't be like this woman with with lupus and 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 this other uh, illness she has who can't work, but thinks she's above um, network marketing. That's why she's broke. Period. That's why she's broke. That's why she's sitting around trying to find something. Somebody puts an opportunity in your hand. That's why she's broke. I mean, that's really what it boils down to. If you're not making money and you're trying to find money, obviously you ain't got none. So that is why she's broke. I, I'm sorry. It just really, it really, it really made me angry. And it, to be honest, it disgusted me. Like people trying to help you. Like I said, I joined this business to try to help people. I saw that I could help a lot more people by getting into a business that had a low, lower cost of entry. I was trying to help this woman. I was trying to help her. But you know what? It's all good. I don't get bent out of shape about that kind of stuff. It's just don't don't be crazy. Like make intelligent decisions and I'm gonna do another video very soon about the difference between the mindsets of the wealthy and the non-wealthy um, entrepreneurs versus employees because it's big y'all and I'm gonna tell you like right now one of the things that that separates the wealthy from the uh, non-wealthy unwealthy poor whatever you want to call it um, is the wealthy take risks and they take action period you'll never get ahead you'll never get ahead if you don't take action and to, or take a risk you got to take a risk every job you take is taking a risk all right you're risking that this job that you're putting all this time and effort into is going to be around long enough for you to make the money you need come on man y'all just don't 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 be like that don't be like that. It's, it is it is for your own good. The best thing you can do is take a risk on this opportunity. And I'm telling you, you you're going to make money because you there are too many systems in place for you to not make money. Uh, you have access to too many people. 
the the owner of the company does training and teaches you how to market your business properly. I mean, like, seriously, this is a you can't lose type situation. But um, I'm going to go ahead and go get out of here so I can get myself ready for um, church this morning. But seriously, take that. Just just don't be like this woman. Like, this is just this is just crazy. Um, This is crazy. Put something good in your hands and you turn it away only to complain about being broke. It's pretty stupid. All right, guys, I'm out. Have a wonderful Sunday. It's October 6th. I'm, I'm wonderfully blessed and happy. All right, guys, it's been real. Tie with the 9 to 5 solution over and out. Peace.